Hey everyone, so today I'm recreating a look from Little Mix. This is the look that Jade wore at the beginning of the video called Moo, which is the brand new single as well for the ladies. Super excited because I love Little Mix. I love their music. I hope they're going to be huge in the US, Canada, all over the world basically. So um, pretty simple look on the eyes, basically one color and a bold lip. So if you want to learn how to do it, well, keep on watching. So the first color I'm going to use is actually a Makeup Forever Aqua Cream, Aqua, yeah, Aqua Cream color in the number 16. And this is a beautiful, I would say soft rose metallic color. And this will be our base onto our eyes. So I'm just applying that right there, mostly on the lid and I'm just going to blend up towards the crease. And on the outer edge, I'm just taking my finger so it melts into the skin and it blends beautifully beautifully you could probably leave it at that but i'm going to use a mineralized skin finish in a light flush this is another kind of a goldy rose color and i'm just going to apply that on top of where i've applied the number 16 from makeup forever so i'm just patting it on this will just add a little bit more shimmer then i'm just taking a fluffy brush just making sure the color is diffused and i want that inner corner to pop a little bit more so i'm going to use a naked illuminated shimmer powder for face and a body and in the inner corner once again then in the crease I'm going to use the littlest yeah that's a word amount of rewind rewind which is a matte medium brown I'm just going to define my crease a little bit now this color is somewhat dark so be careful so I'm barely touching the skin so the color is done on the eyes. There's nothing onto the lower lash line. They really wanted to look, look, kind of give it a lift. So nothing dragging down the eye. I'm going to create my wing now. I'm just using my Physician's Formula Liner. So I've applied my lashes these are Demi Wispies from Ardell, just to add a little bit of um, uplift on the outer corner. Next, I'm going to take my Cryolon water, um, my Cryolon highlight, and just apply it into the waterline. So just because I want a little bit more volume on the lower lash line, I'm going to apply some individual lashes that look like this. A lot of people ask me how to apply them. So I'm not gonna talk you through it, but I'm gonna show you how. <clears throat> First and foremost, you need to use the uh, Duo Adhesive in white that is gonna dry clear, because if you use, um, usually on my upper lash line, I use the dark glue that's going to dry black, but for this, you really wanna use something that will dry clear, because you don't want like dark spots everywhere, unless uh, you have a pretty harsh um, black liner onto the lower lash line. So I like to use the not free. When I say not not free is um, at the end of the lash. I don't know if you can see right over here, if I can focus. You see there's no knots. It's basically like it ends in a square and that's definitely more natural. Sometimes where there's a knot, it will kind of create a little lump, which makes it little, well, a little less credi credible. Credible? I don't know. But I'm just taking a little bit of glue and after I'm going to apply that wherever I need the filling. So right here. Next, let's move on to the cheeks. Now the cheeks seemed very, very uh, neutral and natural. So I'm going to use just a very, very soft, neutral pink color. This is called a perfect cheek. And I love this blush because it kind of um, makes your inner um, color come out. Like it's just the tiniest, it seems so simple in the pan, but it makes your natural uh, flush, flush come out, flush color, flush color come out. So I'm going to add a little bit of highlight. I'm going to use my porcelain pink highlight. This is, it has to be one of my favorite highlighter ever. It's just so beautiful. And I'm just going to apply that with my Hakahudo brush. It's been a while since I've used it, but I love it. So cheekbone. 
Of course, if you are of a darker complexion, use something that's going to suit your face. I'm also going to apply a little bit on the apples of the cheeks, just on the top. Just going to add a little bit more glow there. Make us look fresh. After the lips are going to be a combination. Now she wore somewhat of a purple uh, raspberry color on the lips, but they're very bright. Perry had definitely a purple lip, but um, Jade had kind of a purple raspberry lip. So I'm going to start by defining the outer edge of my lips. I'm going to take my Urban Decay Venom um, lip pencil. Then lightly, I'm going to feather it in. So I need to squint down. I'm going to take the lipstick of the same name. It is called Venom as well from Urban Decay. I love the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks. You need to check them out. So I'm just going to take a little bit of color and mostly apply that on the outer corner. And after in the center of the lip, I'm going to use a bright uh, pink color. This is called Anarchy. Anarchy, Anarchy, I'm sorry, I'm French. And apply that in the middle of the lip. I'm actually going to use my lip brush once again. It's just easier that way. And then after, just on the inner, the outer corners, I'm going to use a tiny bit of Belladonna from Lip Tower from OCC. Just to make it a little bit more purple. And after, just on top, just a tiny pinch of clear lip gloss. So there you go, this is the finished look. I need to check my uh, my teeth because this lipstick keeps getting on them. But um, this is the look that Jade rocked on the music video Move. Well, in the music video Move, new single from Little Mix. I love Little Mix, they're kind of like the new Spice Girls. Okay. Nobody's ever going to replace the Spice Girls, but they're on the right track, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.